Hello everyone. Welcome back to E class of St Joseph's Academy. I Ms Sanshika Michael your English teacher hope that you all are doing good at your home. As you all know that we are going through a pandemic. That is why we are conducting this virtual meeting with you. Today we are going to start a new chapter a big parcel i hope you will listen to me carefully let's begin the chapter a big parcel this is a story about a girl whose name is seema She is celebrating her birthday today. Seema is in the living room with her father who is blowing up balloons, mother who is hanging ribbons on the wall, and her aunt who is reading newspaper. There is a cake on the table and her friends Ali and Neelam are also here. They also have come to celebrate her birthday. Suddenly the doorbell rings. Seema opens the door. It is a postman. The postman says hello. He hands over her three letters and a big parcel. Seema gives the letters to her father. She looks at the big parcel. She is surprised to see her name on it. She wonders who sent it. She opens the parcel. It contains a beautiful blanket it is made up of colorful patches of cloth it is pretty patterns on it it is soft and cozy it has her name stitched on it she finds a letter inside the blanket she opens it It is from her grandmother. It says, "Happy birthday. I made it for you. Do you like it?" "Yes," whispers Seema. She loves this birthday present. So this was our chapter. Now we will move to the word meanings. First is living room. Living room means a room in a house where family members sit together, talk and relax. Second one is patches. Patches means small pieces of cloth third word is whispers it means speaks very softly and fourth word is patterns patterns means shapes and colors now we will move to the exercise our first question is put a tick right against the correct answer our first question is whose birthday is this is it seema's father's birthday seema's sister's birthday or seema's birthday and the answer is it is seema's birthday so we have to tick right against seema b question is 
What is Seema's father doing? Seema's father blowing up balloons or baking a cake or reading the newspaper. And the answer is Seema's father is blowing up balloons. So we have to tick right against the balloon, blowing up balloons. C question. Who rings the doorbell? Is it Neelam or Ali or the postman? And the correct answer is the postman. Tick right against the postman. D question is who sends the big parcel for Seema? Is it Seema's aunt, Seema's grandmother or Seema's mother? And the correct answer is Seema's grandmother. Tick right against Seema's grandmother. Our next question is, put a tick right against the sentences that are true and put a cross against those that are false. A question is, Seema is happy to receive gifts from grandmother. Yes, she was very happy. Tick right. B question. Ali and Neelam also receive gifts from Seema's grandmother. No, this statement is false. So we have to put a cross against this sentence. C question. Seema's mother is cooking. No, Seema's mother is baking a cake. So this statement is also incorrect. We have to cross this statement. Question. Our next question is answer the following questions. A question is what does Seema find inside the blanket? And the answer is Seema finds a letter inside the blanket. B question is, describe the blanket. How was the blanket? So, and the answer is, it is beautiful, soft and cozy. C question is, who rings the doorbell? And the answer is, postman. Our next question is from word wall. Firstly, we have given scrambled words and we have to unscramble the words given below. We have three pictures here. First picture is of, we have to scramble this word. T-E-T-R-E-L-S and the word is letters. L-E-T-T-E-R-S letters. Second image is of a cake and the spelling of cake is C-A-K-E. We have to unscramble this word. And the correct spelling is C-A-K-E, cake. C question. Third image is of a present, gift. So here we have given a wrong spelling. We have to arrange these letters and we have to correct the spelling. So the correct spelling is 
present p r e s e n t present we have given two more pictures and first picture is of newspaper and second picture is of a balloon so the spelling of newspaper is N E W S P A P E R newspaper and the correct spelling of balloon is B A L L O N balloon balloon now it is grammar time write describing words for each word we have some describing words given in our book so we have to describe the word day so how will we describe the word day it may be hot or it may be rainy hot day rainy day describing words means the word that describe about something so the word hot and rainy describing the word day how was the day the day was very hot or it was a rainy day b question flowers so the describing words for flowers is fresh and second one is colorful fresh flowers colorful flowers now moving to the next c third word is food how was the food it was a tasty food or it was healthy food tasty and healthy both the words are describing the food how was the food it was tasty food and it was healthy food Next question is underline the describing words in the following sentences we have to underline the word that is describing the subject first question the hungry puppy drinks milk who is hungry puppy the word hungry is describing the puppy that puppy is hungry the puppy drinks milk that is okay but how is the puppy puppy is hungry a hungry puppy drinks milk so we have underlined the word hungry b question father bakes sweet cake father bakes cake that is okay but how is the cake sweet so the describing word in this sentence is sweet the cake is sweet c question i wrote a long letter to granny i wrote a letter to granny but how was the letter the letter was long so the word long is describing word here d question it is a sunny day how was the day it was a sunny day so the word sunny is describing the day e question danny wiped the dirty toy how was the toy the toy was 
dirty. So, the word dirty is describing the toy. That is why dirty is describing word. So, this was our chapter, a big parcel. I hope you all have understood it well. We will meet again soon. Till then, stay safe, healthy and happy at your home. Thank you.